when I think of computer programming, I think, usually think of a male or a white male and not really see myself in it, even though I've gotten to do it now. And I still kind of don't imagine a lot of women of color that look like me in this job or in a job in this field. And um, I just, I feel like women could be more interested in, in this if they were exposed to it in a different light, if they, everyone got the chance to do it in a different way, like without the stereotypes in a way. Okay, so well, I got into computer programming this year, at the beginning of the school year, and it was because I signed up for a class and didn't get into that class, so computer programming was my fallback. And at first I wasn't really excited about it, but I was willing to give it a chance. So I went to the class, and the first week we didn't do a lot of programming, but we just learned more about technology and stuff that I didn't even realize was a thing. And that just immediately grabbed my attention, and I thought it was so cool. And then once we got into the programming, it got really, really cool because I got to be creative at the same time. I thought it was kind of just plugging in numbers and coding to computers and not really making something that's really, really interesting. And that's what I enjoyed about it. And getting to make something tangible and real like that came from your own mind. So growing up, I was always taught to uh, grab every opportunity I could because um, the way my parents were raised was very different and but they have like the same core beliefs and the same values when it comes to that kind of thing so my mom was from the Philippines and she came here when she was maybe a little younger than me like eighth grade and she came from the Philippines to like leave martial law and um, because the opportunities here would be greater for them than they were there and so right off the bat like She's just been learning to take every opportunity you can just because of that. And then on my dad's side, he came here from Oklahoma and she came here for different job opportunities. So my parents instilled all those same things in me. So I feel like that's one big part of how I grew up. So growing up, whenever I thought about Amaya, I thought about how much I missed her because we didn't go to the same school, so I didn't see her all the time, so I didn't know her as well. But then we grew up, went to middle school, and I realized how she was like super, super smart. You know, I was smart too, but she's always just been super bright. We've been playing basketball. Well, we started in bitty ball when we were like five. Mm -hmm. Then third grade, we played Portland Parks and Rec. And we only played Portland Parks and Rec up until sixth grade. Then we started playing club basketball, which is where you travel and it's much more competitive. This class has definitely opened my eyes to many things that I can do or a whole field of work that I didn't even think about doing. And that's really interesting because it didn't even come to my mind. Like computer programming just wasn't a thing, like for me, until this class. And that's really, really interesting and cool because I could have been missing out on this whole field of work that I could really enjoy in the future. And I feel like there's a lot of need for women and women of color in this work. And so I feel like that could be a great opportunity for me. The difference between us, between men and women, is usually the body parts, not the brain. So, so I just think it shows how diverse she is and how she can do so much more than just play basketball.